So for climbing roses, pretty much we care for them, uh, we, we treat them tenderly. So we definitely cover them in the fall, so that's what I'm removing right now, is the mulch that we put on the base of the plants this past winter. And then we cover the tops of them, not to protect them from the elements, like the snow and rain, but more so for the wind. Uh, the wind can really dry out canes of trees and shrubs in the wintertime, especially in like February if we don't have a good snow cover. The, uh, the, snow, the winds really desiccate all the branches and dry them out. So we cover them with burlap for the season to help protect them. Oh, Ooh, look at that! We got some green growth, which is what we're hoping for all the time with climbers. We like these nice, supple green canes. And this is a great time to look at them. Their leaves are still in here from last winter. And that's okay, they'll quickly fall off being exposed. Try to be gentle when you remove it. I know the thorns will uh, definitely get stuck in the burlap. But you don't want to rip off any potential new buds or new growth. The main pruning at the gardens here that we do on our roses is in the springtime, at the end of March and the beginning of April. In the fall, we don't really prune too much. It's more to be able to get mulch in and around the plant material than for health or aesthetics. The rose that we're working on right now is called New Dawn. It's one of the strongest climbers that we have in the region. We have this one in English Wall Garden and back here in the Rose Garden, and it's one of my favorites. It's a soft pink flowering rose that flowers uh, just around Father's Day every year. So you want to try and sprinkle out the mulch that's left in between here that we packed in. And you can see all these beautiful canes have nice green growth on them. But you will find you have some dead, like we have a dead little branch here. So he's going to be removed. It's a really good idea when you're pruning roses to use a uh, disinfectant on your pruners in between plants because that way if you have a disease in one you hopefully won't spread it to the next one. Now that we have the new dawn exposed and uh, all the uh, mulch removed from it, I'm going to prune out anything that looks dead, anything that's broken, and uh, anything smaller than a pencil because this is such a strong grower it will bounce back terrifically. you've gotten the canes picked out that you want. And again, early in the season like this, it's probably best to be a little bit more aggressive on your pruning because the roses will respond quite nicely to them. So you might think you're removing a lot, but the roses will be healthier and better suited for the season's growth if you remove the weaker growing canes. This guy's a nice twisty one. I'm going to wrap him around and hook him in. Some damage on some canes. I prefer tying roses up with uh, raffia, which is a natural, natural tie. And it uh, it biodegrades in about a year, so usually if you tie them up with raffia the next year, you'll have to retie it, but that's okay because you should put your ties on an annual basis anyway. These guys survive the winter really nicely. There's not that much that has to be removed from dead or diseased canes. and I'll retie it with some raffia in a little bit. But this is basically how you want your rose canes and ro uh, climbing roses bushes to look like. If you have more questions on the rose garden or any rose questions at all, please visit our plant information booth.